In today's video, we're gonna learn how to butcher a chicken into eight equal pieces. Let's start by identifying the different components of the chicken. So, we have our breasts facing up. So we have two breasts, two legs, two wings. When I turn the chicken over, now my backbone is facing up. And you can see the legs are facing down and these wings are facing up. So, I'm going to start with the legs facing away from me and the breasts facing towards me. This is the only time that the chicken is going to be in this position. It's just to remove this one bone. So the first thing I want to do is I want to remove the wishbone from the chicken. So the wishbone is a bone that runs up either side of the breast and peaks right at the top of the breast. And you can kind of see it here as it runs through. So what I want to do is I want to take my knife and I just want to cut along either side of that wishbone just to release it. You can see as I make my cuts, starting to release that bone there. Now that runs just along either side. All right, so I have my wishbone exposed here. You can see I've kind of loosened the wishbone. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm just gonna pull that wishbone out. Note that I didn't break any of the bone here. So the bone's still fully intact and that's important. If you do break the bone, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to need to go back in and remove that piece so that when someone eats it, they don't get a piece of that wishbone. So we'll go ahead and set this aside and we'll face the chicken back with the breasts facing away from us and the legs facing towards us. So the first cut we're gonna make is we're gonna do a very, very shallow cut just into the skin at the leg joint. Please note that I didn't cut at all into the flesh. I just did a very shallow cut into the skin just to kind of let those legs fall down. It gives it a little more stability. So the first thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove uh, the breast quarters. So uh, I need to make a cut right along the keel bone, which runs on either side of my breast. So what I need to do is I need to find that bone with my finger and you can kind of see there's a little bit of a ridge where that bone runs through. I can feel that hard bone with my finger, okay? And then the soft flesh on either side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and do a nice shallow cut straight down the middle. And you can see now that I've exposed that keel bone. And what I wanna do is I wanna cut on either side of that keel bone. So I'm gonna go just to the one side of that keel bone and do nice long even strokes along the keel bone okay, until I get down to my ribs. And I know I've gotten down to the ribs when I can't cut through any more flesh, okay? It feels like my knife is coming contact into the bone because it is. Now at this point, the keel bone runs down straight, but the ribs kind of curve out. So I need to change the angle of my knife to match the angle of my ribs. So I'll go from having done that straight cut down now to angling my knife to match those ribs. Okay, so you can see I've removed most of the breast from the keel bone and the ribs, but I'm just now left attached at the wing joint. So what I need to do is I need to cut this breast off the wing joint. Now, at no point when we're butchering should we have to hack through bone, okay? We're just trying to cut through the joint. So what I need to do is I kind of need to find that joint with my knife. So I'm gonna go up along here. And when I get to where the joint is, you can kind of see exactly where it wants me to cut. You can see that there's the ball joint here. Okay, and this is where it wants me to cut right through. Now notice, I have the breast and wing in my hand, okay, the carcass on the board, 
and I just kind of work that knife through that joint. I didn't have to hack through bone. I didn't have to saw through. I just kind of angled my knife to work it through that joint. Okay. So here's one of my breast quarters. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Follow that knife straight down along the keel bone. Nice smooth motion, not hacking, not sawing. Nice smooth motion. Okay. I'm going to match the angle of my knife along the angle of the ribs okay. until I get this breast off of these ribs. Okay. I'm going to hold the breast quarter in my hand, work my knife through that joint, and easily remove my second breast. Now, when removing the breasts, it's really important that we're going to get as much meat off of the keel bone and the ribs as possible. And you can see here, uh, I did a really good job. When I go back, I can't really cut any more meat off of that rib, uh, off of that keel bone or those ribs, okay? My knife was flush against those bones and that's exactly what you wanna see. All right, so I've removed my uh, two breast quarters. Now I need to remove my two leg thigh quarters. So the first thing I'm gonna do to remove my leg thigh quarters is I'm going to dislocate the uh, hip joint from the, uh, from the carcass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold the leg thigh quarter in one hand and the carcass in the other, and I'm just going to dislocate that joint. And you can see when I dislocate that joint, that hip bone just starts to pop out there. Okay, that's exactly what I want to see, that hip bone just popping out. Notice I didn't like try to rip it apart, okay, it wasn't, you know, excessive pressure. All I did was just nice firm pressure until I see that hip joint pop out there. Okay. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to remove the oyster. Um, so this is something that really shows, I think, high, uh, high level of competency in butchery is, is getting the oyster off the leg thigh joint. It's something that a lot of people miss, um, but it's actually pretty simple. So. You can see that there's this little V of fat that runs right here. There's this V of fat that runs right here, and then coming out of that V of fat is this little muscle right here. The V of fat and this little muscle right here. This little muscle right here is indicating where my oyster is. So what I need to do is I need to make a little slit right at that muscle. So you see there's the muscle running here, and then I made this little slit right here. Now, the oyster actually sits in this little cup that runs along the spinal column. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my finger to kind of rip off that muscle, tear that muscle off of that uh, cup that runs along the spinal column. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that little slit I made, run my finger along that spinal column until I push out through the other side. And can you see here, my fingers kind of pushed out through that other side and is now uh, coming out at that skin. That's exactly what I want to see. I've released that oyster. So now all I need to do is I'm going to hold my uh, leg quarter up in the air. My carcass is on the board and I'm going to run my knife flat along the spinal column until I get to that hip joint. Now, once I get to that hip joint, it's going to feel like I've hip bone because I have. What I need to do is I need to reposition the angle of my knife. So instead of having my knife straight like this, I'm going to angle it up and cut through that hip joint. Once I'm through that hip joint, I'm going to pull my knife back down and follow along that spinal column. Remember, I should never have to saw through bone. So when you get to that hip joint, okay, you shouldn't start sawing and hacking, right? I'm just going to angle my knife up and around and then pull my knife back down, follow the curvature of that spinal column. Okay, here's my first leg thigh quarter, and you can see right here is the oyster, this little darker nugget of meat that's sitting right there is my oyster, okay? And you can see this is the cup right here where that oyster sat, okay? So here's the cup, I took my finger, I scraped it out, and there's my oyster. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, I'm gonna find my oyster, okay? There's this nice V of fat right here, my nice V of fat. This muscle that runs through that V is my oyster right there. The nice V of fat. The muscle that runs through that V right there is my oyster. I make a little incision right at the top there of my oyster. I'm gonna stick my finger into that slit, 
push it through along that cup that I made till it comes out the other side there. Okay. I've released that oyster. Now all I need to do is follow the angle of the spine up through the, uh, the hip joint, pull my knife back down, and I've removed my second quarter. All right. So when we look at the carcass uh, from the quarters, you notice how very little meat is left on the carcass. I had nice, clean uh, removal of the, the breasts. You can see along the spinal column here, I've gotten all that meat off of my uh, leg thigh quarter, and that's exactly what I want to see. There shouldn't be big pockets of meat left anywhere. It should be nice and clean like this. All right, the next thing we need to do is, remove, is to break the quarters uh, down into eighths. Uh, so to do that, um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, work on this wing uh, section here. Um, for this demo, we're going to go ahead and uh, French the, the wing. Um, to French is just to remove um, some meat from the bone to leave a nice clear bone. You don't have to do it this way. Um, this is just the way I'm going to demo it. Uh, so to French this breast, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cut into the drumette. So there's three components of the wing here. There's the wing tip, the flat, and the drumette. The drumette is what actually connects to the breast. So I'm gonna cut about halfway down the drumette. I'm gonna make a cut in, and I'm gonna rotate around in a circle, cut all the way through that skin to the bone, okay? So I've cut all the way down through that skin to the bone. Now all I need to do is hold my breast and drumette in one hand, my wing flat in the other, and pull that flat off. And you can see it leaves this really nice exposed wing joint. All right, let's do that again. We're gonna cut down into the drumette, circle all the way around, hold the breast in one hand, the wing flat in the other, pop that flat off. We have that nice clean bone. Now, we need to break these into uh, equal pieces because we're going from quarters to eighths. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of line up my cut. And I want to kind of ask myself, are these two equal pieces? Uh, you can see right now they are. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to cut here, right, and have this one tiny piece and then one really big piece. We want to make sure we have equal portions. So I'm going to go ahead and line up my cut. I like these two. I'm going to go ahead, cut through, and you can see I have two nice equal pieces. If there's any big pieces of fat uh, that remain, we can go ahead and cut them off. We don't want to trim up too much of the skin uh, because the skin's going to contract as we cook. So you don't want to clean the skin up you know, too, too much. Uh, but if there's any big uh, pieces of fat left, we will clean those off. And I think we'll see that on the leg thighs when we get there. All right, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to line up our cut. Okay, two nice equal pieces. You can see I have two nice equal pieces here for breast portions. All right. Now to break apart my uh, leg thigh quarters, I need to separate the leg from the thigh, okay? Um, and there's some really easy ways to, to do this. Um, so the first is you can give it a little shake and you can kind of feel where those two bones connect, okay, in the joint. Um, probably the easiest way is to look for this yellow fat that kind of runs down through. You can see this line of fat that kind of runs along the, um, the leg here. And this is exactly where I'm going to cut. So what I would do is I would kind of feel for that joint. And I can feel right here is my cut. Okay. So cut along this piece of fat, line up my knife. And I should be able to do one straight cut through. You see, I have this really nice, clean cut through. That's exactly what I want. Um, got that cut on the first time. Now, if you were a little off and you hit bone, what do you do? You don't try to saw through. You pick up your knife, you, re you reposition it, and then you try to make that cut again, okay? But you wanna make sure you're cutting through that joint. Do the same thing on this side. We see that nice uh, yellow fat that runs through that line there. Going to give it a feel. I feel exactly where my joint is. Line my knife up. One cut through. Okay. And we can clean up these thighs as needed. You see how there's this big piece of fat here. We can go ahead and just trim that off. Again, we don't want to take off too much of the skin because that skin will contract as we cook it. But any big pieces of fat we can take off. And this is our eight-way chicken. We have two thighs, two legs two wing uh, pieces, 
two boneless breasts, and then with our scraps we have the wing flats, our fat, our wishbone, and our carcass. All right, let's review. So, when butchering our chicken, we should never cut through bone. If we feel like we're hitting bone, stop, readjust your knife, and try to find the appropriate joint. Next, when cutting along the keel and rib bones, the side of your knife should be flush with the keel bone and the rib bone. If you feel like you're leaving too much meat on the bone and your knife isn't flush with that keel bone and rib bones, go ahead and reposition the angle of your knife and try again. Lastly, when going from quarters to eighths, we wanna make sure that we have equal size pieces. So line up your cuts ahead of time, take a look, judge if they're equal size, and then make your cuts using one solid fluid motion.